idea of suicide is really fucking complicated if you think about it. If you ever consider suicide, you start asking yourself weird questions like, if there is an afterlife, what do I want to be wearing when I kill myself? I personally would like to wear a pirate outfit, so if there is an afterlife, my ghost can walk around wearing a fucking pirate outfit. I wasn't kidding when I told you I had no fucking sh So, Mannix, the pirate's dead, committed suicide. I hope that works. Just check in, check in, check in. Um, unlike, unlike, uh, <laughs> good lord. All right. So, derived energy is no longer alive. Some he died in a Indonesian situation prison. There seems to be some speculation as to if he was uh, murdered or if he committed suicide. Now the speculation is basically because there's a bucket, right? And he either killed himself with a bucket, well, dry, drowning himself in water, or, or a toilet perhaps, or maybe it was a tub. Good lord! Unlike a uh, drive energy, we're pretty, pretty sure Pretty sure about this. It was uh, a long time coming. And uh, yeah, yeah, long time coming. Um, as someone who's, you know, what's there to say? Passed out in their own vomit before. I, I can tell you the body sort of, you know, has these. He killed himself. He's gone. He's. Nito dead. Anyway, enough of that. Enough of that. I don't know what happened. I didn't get to know him. But I was sort of subscribed to one of his Facebook identities. And that was interesting. But what can I say? Uh, I made this big, long, derived energy sort of thing, and I don't pretend to have an opinion on it either way publicly, pu publicly because I have some friends in the antinatalist community, and I have some friends who sort of oppose the whole antinatalist thing about his suicide, and... I just stopped. You know, it was like 20 minutes. I, I, I uploaded it about four times and I just kept hitting cancel. Kept hitting cancel, cancel, cancel. Because I mainly just wasn't satisfied with it. I wanted to upload it raw, unedited. And the, the, how he died isn't what's important to me in this video. What's important to me in this video, stereotypes. I dislike the subject of suicide. Kind of part of my love-hate relationship with the, uh, with the animatalist. It's almost like a fetish, you know? You know how some guys have this Asian fetish? And I don't mean to be racist or anything like that. Let's look at people have a racial fetish or something like that, right? So let's say there's... And I'm sorry, there's not going to be a lot of a... Uh, I don't think I'm going to edit this hardly. I find certain personalities or certain kinds of uh, stances people take to be sort of alluring. Like this person takes on a trans process. It's fascinating to, to, to observe, you know. You, you start noticing about that about yourself. You're like, this could be the most beautiful person in the world, to me at least. And then they could certainly take on a negative connotation, become completely repulsive to me if they were to hold a certain kind of belief. Antinatalist kills himself. It's the argument. That's the argument. That's the counter argument. of every person at some point in time that has opposed antinatalism. They make the, I don't, you know, they think it. 
they think, why don't you just kill yourself? Or if you did kill yourself, you, I think you would be happy. That's the, that, that's the defense. Whether it's right, whether it's wrong, that's, that's natural. That's a natural rebuttal. Most people, in my experience, or, well, at least I, I was, I just I didn't make that, that argument. Not initially. Like, I would never say that unless I had been, I had been talking to this person for quite some time, or just felt like the right atmosphere, you know? A good retort, you know, just to sort of ruffle the person's feathers a little bit, maybe. But it wasn't an argument I would open with. It wasn't a salvo I would fire. Because that point had been rebutted and refuted so many times. And we're talking about existence, which is, you know, a, uh, much more interesting than, you know, the gender wars. And that's the urge, my inner urge. That's what kind of, that's what I fight against. Trying to find a baseline between ideas and the physical. Sexual physical. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, I'm a pretty open-minded guy. So, back to the suicide. Back to the suicide. So, that's why it's an interesting answer. What I... My, I, I the situation has a lot of lawyering in it. My, my, and I don't know if I was an antinatalist. I would support the, the narrative, that the, probably the correct narrative, blah, 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 that he killed himself. Because that would sort of weaken my position. That would like weaken my argument. Right? It would dissolve every other antinatalist that has refuted, refuted that point. It's... it's, it's, it's it's like a trump card, right? It's a trump card. Every... Those words must not be uttered. During the course of history, Homo sapiens have fabricated various social constructions that enable us to rationalize away the absurdity of the human condition. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I wish I could say I was, uh, I, I wish I could say I wasn't surprised, right? I wish I could say I saw what coming. But to me, he was just another YouTube personality, you know, when he'd say stuff. About, oh, I'm gonna kill myself or something like that. You know, I'd leave the, the comment, don't kill yourself, man. Life's worth living. Da, da, da. You know, I'd, I'll fire off a compulsory, you know, hug towards you. You know, because that's, that's the kind of guy I am. You know? I don't know. I just, I, w I would have remained ambiguous, right? I would have remained ambiguous. I'm like, look, look, let's not speculate on derived energies, uh, demise. Necessarily, let's, what can we do? What can we do? In your heart of hearts, what do you think he did? You think he ended his life? How well do you know someone online? How well do you know them? Many people come online to escape. There are things that happen, I'm speaking from experience, right? There are things that happen in my life that I will never tell you. It will not happen. Okay? It simply won't happen. So, people are suicidal. I have some experience with this as well. People are suicidal. They appear to be fine, okay? When someone who's suicidal finally kills themselves, finally kills themselves, finally does it. It's two narratives you hear. Rarely will you hear anything outside of that narrative. To school. But even that wasn't the first time I tried to kill myself. Actually, the first time I tried to kill myself, I was six years old and I was living in a homeless shelter and I tried to jump out of a window. 
Can you blame me? Who the fuck wants to live in a homeless shelter? Even if I don't like you, I'll say, don't kill yourself. Because you can bring happiness to someone else. Maybe my words will be the thing that pulls you out of the darkness and you'll like tell me years later, I was the only one who cared for you. Or, or something narcissistic <laughs> like that. I just like putting out those good vibes, even if I have a migraine or if I have a headache. I just feel obligated to. I don't want to turn away from you when you're falling down. But I'm not perfect. Killed himself. I don't know who I care about. I'm thinking. I've just been focusing upon me. Upon my whims, upon my aims. I become so jealous. Someone thinks about taking their life. Makes me mad. You are being insolent, son. I will not tolerate it. You must distract your mind from such thoughts. Time to watch the tally tubby. It's like if you're going to kill yourself, why not? Go ask that girl that you, that you never were going to in the first place. Let's climb that mountain you were too afraid of. Let's go die doing something that you didn't have the balls to do. Tell me what that is. We'll go do it together. See if we can pull out some gold. The darkness of that soul hidden in your chest somewhere. But I've been pulling a lot of people out of the fire. Eventually, it gets all over you. You see them walk off, find happiness, and you're just left with what they gave you. I'm sad that derived energy had to go. Didn't get to know him that well. I had a uh, video I was going to do to him. But I kept putting it off. That's what I want to talk about. I kept putting it off. You know, I was worried about offending them. I was worried about offending derived energy with the video. The video idea, it's like there's this video where he's like dancing. It's like dancing all around, right? And I don't think there's any sound on a video or something. So I was going to, you know, rip some, some song from some video that's dubstep or something like that, you know. You know, obliterate, obliterate the, the audio so it's indistinguishable and it's all the sound. So, you know, just cram like 50 songs together. And I was going to, like, intermix it with him, you know, dancing all around and stuff like that. And I was going to say, anti-natalist can't dance. How, indeed, can an anti-natalist no, anything. Da, da, da. And why the da is going on, you'd see like Anti Carnival's head kind of like coming through like this. Da, da, and saying like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Never made a video. Never made the video. Never made the video because the video was very, it's very mocking. It's very mocking, and these are very serious, serious people. That's it. If I offended you, I don't apologize, but I'll give you a hug. Bye. gonna edit this part. Sometimes you just gotta let people go. Can't save everyone. But I'll probably keep on trying. Eventually, usually when you're just about to give up, a little glimmer of hope. Keeps you going. 
It's not karma. It's just inevitable. That's the sick part of it. Just when you're about to give up, you get pulled back into it. So is there some sort of courage and blowing your head off before? I don't think so.